All right, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a Selectric 2 here. We're going to put the ropes return cable, which is this cable on this side of the carrier, and the tab cable back in. This had a broken pulley, and they got knocked off. They're off right now, but they're, they're still on, but they're knocked off the pulley. So, And the covers are still on, and the carrier is jammed. So what we're going to do first is get this cable. This cable's we got to get the cables off, so let's work on this one. Carrier's jammed here. I'm going to try to cycle it by hand and see if it turns at all. So I'm going to put the cycle clutch in here or the hand tool. And it's it's spinning free, but it's still jammed up. Oh, there we go. So now it loosened up. You can do either hit the space bar or something to loosen it or back space. need to get this side off the, the hook inside of here. So, I think it's loose enough now to, to unhook it. Yep, so that's off. You can just pull this cable out as far as we can. It's not a cable, rope. We'll call this side rope. So, let's rope out of here. Now we should be able to push the carrier back this way. And we can take this cover off down here. Get this out of the way. And we should try to manipulate this back over. So I'm going to turn it as if it's running by hand here. And hit tab. Tab. See if we can get it to move over. If not, we got to get this cable off back here. That, that, that brown cable's got to come off. See if we can get it off these, this pulley back here right there. So it's probably tangled around there somewhere somehow so there's there's the cable right there need to get it off that pulley it's got a little little spot there it latches under and let's see if we can get, disconnect this from that little notch in the pulley okay I think I got now, it's still all wrapped around there, so I'm going to take it out of there somehow. Just keep manipulating it till it, till it comes out. These can be a real pain sometimes, and you can turn the hand crank and try to manipulate it out of there. And if you have to, Throw it on his back here. And get to the pulley down here. Let's see what we can get loose here. It still feels okay. So we almost got it out. There we go. So it's got a good end still. So I'm going to keep that. Let's just dangle that down there. And now we're gonna again try to move the carrier that away. Should should move now with uh, turning the knob or the hand crank and tab tabulate it over. While you're turning the knob, tab and turn, tab and turn. If it jams up somewhere, just oh well, the cable got hung up somewhere back there. Well, the cables still hung up here it's just hanging up on something there well, let's find out what's hanging up on it's hanging up way over here <laughs> it's stuck in the spring now uh, all things come on are you kidding me Okay. Okay. Let's tap this over the rest of the way. Turn. Now I, I it actually triggered a, a print action, but you just power right through that. And it's all the way over. So now we can remove this cover here. Like that. Okay. So now. Should be able to pull this whole cable out. 
manipulate it out of there. It's still hanging up. It likes to hang up on that that tip. Jesus. It likes to hang up on this. This tip likes to catch on things when you're pulling it through, but. Okay, so now we got the cable off and it's still connected underneath the carrier. So now, if this is moving freely like this, nothing is triggering off, you can push the carrier back that way. Now let's, uh, let's push it back that way. I meant to do something else. Let's tap it over like we're doing. Tap it all the way over. Okay. Now we're going to hold clear, set clear down, and clear and push it back and clear all the tabs. Now when we hit tab here and turn it, it should go all the way. If I help push it. So now it's happy right there. Okay, get this cable free. Alright, let's see. So chances are Yours might have come disconnected underneath this carrier. The only way to get to that is beneath here, way down here, on the innards. And uh, it's very tricky to find this spot in here. And let's uh, see if we can get it. Let's see if we can see something. Okay, so that goes on the inside of this bracket, so that's, that's dirt right there. That bracket right there, this is the other side of that cable right there. So you need to hold it like this, put it on top of that bracket, stick it through the little forks there. Get it, get it positioned behind those two forks. There we go, right there. So that's where it attaches the bottom of the carry, which is pretty tricky to get to. So it's right there. All right, so once that's done and that's connected under the carrier, and hopefully it stays there. while we're doing the rest of this. So now we can hand crank it and move it all the way over that way by pressing the tab button. It goes all the way back over. So now this brown cable is connected back under the carrier. So you can take this and pull the carrier back if you want to do it. I'm going to push it back that way. By turning turning the, the hand crank. So, so this cable goes underneath this cable and it's going to go around this first pulley right here and that pulley and between you know just got to guide it between these silver pieces so we can push this through this curl is up like this straighten it out a little bit well we got to get it back through here Might need to take a spring hook here and pull it through. Uh, okay, I think I got it. Alright, pull it through and make sure, just make sure, kind of guide it around these pulleys here. It's going to fall out of place, but just make sure it's, it's in routed the right way to begin with, so there it is right there. So that's the way that goes around those two pulleys right there. Alright, let's swing this around. And we're going to find our cable right here, coming out. I forgot to do something here, we're going to we're going to remove this mainspring, we're going to tilt the switch out of the way. So, just rock this switch out of its bracket, like that, make sure the machine's unplugged, 
and we're going to tilt this out of the way. Put it, try to form it so it's out of the way there like that. Now this is spring loaded, it's very, very dangerous, but it should be loose at this point, it should just come right out of there. It's got a little key slot that lines up with that slot right there, and then these little tabs latch into these, this metal piece. Okay, so let's pull this cable across, and it's a little tricky here because it's really hard to see in here. It's got to go behind this this piece here. So take these forceps and just connect this up a little bit somewhere like here, like that, and then feed it through there. through there to the other side like that. Now there is a small pulley, we're not going to worry about it now, that goes on to that shaft right there. We don't really have to worry about that right now. There's a pulley right there. Don't have to really worry about that, but it's going to go on top of that little that little roller right there. But we don't have to worry about that right now. So Right now all we're going to worry about is connecting it up to the silver drum down in here. And it is dark in here. So there's a slot in that silver drum. You can turn this by hand, turn on the hand crank, and it's going to turn that pulley. And there's that pulley right there. Well, it, when we latch it up, we want it to go be turning this the opposite way of this. This is the way the machine's working. We should be able to stop this with our finger pretty easy. But if you just turn on, it's going to want to go that way a little bit. So what we need to do is get it latched up into this little notch that's in the back here right there. So i got it lined up right there. That little notch has an edge there. And it's gonna, we're going to want it to go the opposite way of it going right now. So it's going this way. So what we're going to do now is press the return button up here. Right there, press that return button. That's going to make this pulley go the other way. So it was, remember it was going that way? It's going to shift around and turn the other way. Get some light in here. So there it goes, but it's going to start going the other way. There it goes, right there. So that little opening is right there for the cable to go into. So, grab the cable. With the heme stats or the forceps. And we're going to get this thing into that little latchy spot under there. Right? And it's going to hook in there. So I've got it in that. And I'm holding it. I'm going to hold this loosely and let it pull through my hemostats. So I'm going to keep my forceps in here. And I'm going to crank the hand crank over here. And that's going to pull that pulley and wrap the cord around the pulley. So now it's tightening up the pulley. And when it tightens up, about a whole turn right there, it's going to start moving it's going to start moving this carrier back. So I'm going to turn the hand crank and it's going to start winding that onto the pulley while it's moving the cable, while it's moving that carrier back. At this point, we can go over here and look under here and make sure it's, make sure it's around those pulleys over here. See that it's not around that pulley right there. So. I gotta do is pull it around that pulley. Get my tools here. I've lost my spring hook. Okay, so you can take hooking into this thing and you can just grab it and it's gonna move the carrier a little bit. Push that around that pulley and try to keep some kind of tension so. So that's good right there. And then when we hand crank this some more, it 
should still continue to uh, move that carrier back. So what it's doing right now is the carrier's re return. So it thinks it's returning the carrier. The clutch is engaged. And my mistake, I should have, I should have had this cable removed all together, this rope over here. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to get it out of here. I should have done that. To begin with, we need this all the way out. So this rope should have been out all the way. So let me turn this, turn this some more. I'm going to remove this cable all the way. It also latches underneath here little latch. It's got a little different shape. Uh, so take this all the way out. Continue with our process. We're still returning by hand cranking it. It's going to return still. While we're returning it's got tension on the on that cable. So come back here make sure it's still wrapping around the, the pulley back here properly. Which it looks like it is. And now we're gonna, we're not gonna return it all the way. But we're gonna return it until the carrier gets right about, until that red bar gets right about here. So just a little further. So this whole cable is, is wound up right. The, the tan cable should be connected under here through the pulleys, around the back, wrapping around that rear drum. What we wanna get to is we want this pulley, that little part where it connects in the back here, we want that to show up here, which it will here in just a little bit of rotation. And there's going to be an opening right there, right there. So that little opening right there is where our cable is going to latch up. So we want to stop right there. So now it's the Cam cable is wrapped around that pulley pretty far back here, probably about four turns, right? And it's all in the right position, it's all going the right direction. And we're still under carriage return action, but we stopped. So now what we want to do is connect our pulley, our rope, to the carrier down here. And way down there is a little latch or a little uh, hook for the rope to go onto. It's right, it's right there. So it's right there on the edge. What we're going to do is take the old rope, and the old rope has two, it's got one end we want to deal with. This There's one end that's going to have a little curly, and the other end is going to be kind of, the rope is going to be kind of straight. That's the one we want to connect over here. This side has got a little bit of curl to it because it's been wrapped around that drum. So we know it goes around that drum. It's got a little curl to it. See that? But this side is going to be straight. If you were to relax it, it's going to be straight. So we want this hooked on there. That's also a little tricky to get to. You're going to need hemostats like this like this, and we're going to need to walk it in there and latch it around that latch, or that, that little hook assembly in there, so it's really hard to see down in there, but so if it's in there, see it all lined up. There it is right there. Don't need to pull this too hard. Next step is to get it wrapped around this frame here. We need to come out this frame and around this pulley. Except we're not going to put it around that pulley yet. But we're going to push it through a little opening right here. opening is 
right there. So we just need to get it through there, fish it through here, and do it like that. Tangle up here, okay, just pull it through. Okay, so now it should be nice and straight. So I got a hold of it here. And that's gonna basically wrap around this pulley and go back and back through this hole on the other side. There's another hole. It's right there, so I'm gonna poke my hook through there and I'm gonna pull it through. Pull it right on through here. Like that. And just go ahead and pull it and lay it down in there. Like that. Just lay it. Let it flop. Okay. Here comes another tricky part. And that is getting it hooked up onto this little piece right here. So right now there's a lot of excess here. It actually needs to go underneath this drum. And you'll see it come out the bottom here, kind of. So, there's the, the rope right here. What's the end right there? So, get it right about there. We want it to come around the top of that pulley and back up this side to the top. So, we're going to kind of push it through. You can do this a number of ways, but I'm just going to push it up. I'm still just letting it lay in there. I'm going to fetch it from the top here. So it should be over here on the side. We should be able to find it over here somewhere. I see it. Oops, it just fell down a little bit. Okay. There it is, right there. So now we got it around the top of this and it's coming around almost like one full loop and then we got to manipulate this piece underneath this so this little hook it actually goes like that underneath that edge right there so we need to move this to this side so it's not all tangled up like that and then stick this piece underneath this which is kind of hard to see but that's it lashed right there so it's, it's underneath there it's going down and around the pulley and to the top so now what we need to do is pull this but make sure it's against the pulley so you might have to manipulate the, the rope so it stays on the pulley it's a little tricky right here okay so now it's one turn hooked up there and it's coming around the bottom and coming out right here and I got tension right here. So now let's try to hold that. It's a little tricky. Gonna hold this tension if possible. And we're gonna come back out here to where this rope has got a lot of slack right now. And that slack is right here. So now I got it hooked on. Now I can let go of this. So now we got tension wrapped around there we know the back side is all done final step here get this rope on is to compress this pulley so I still got a hold of it with my my hook right here the final thing we're gonna do is push this pulley in with a screwdriver push this in all the way and we're gonna pull this rope around this pulley this is a very tight thing but pulls around that rope, that pulley, and you got to manipulate it on there. There's a little, there's a, it catches under here a little bit, so you got to make sure it doesn't catch. And you can start it from either side, if you're having troubles, and get it, and pull it until it fits around that line. This is really tight. There it goes. So now it's, now it's around that pulley. And it, it's got tension on the pulley because it's tight. It's got tension right here. It's tight. And take a look in here, make sure it's around the pulley still properly. And I believe the back is still in place. Back here. 
So now the pulleys are back on. The, the rope, the cable, and the rope are back on. Now what we should be able to do is finish the hand turn. Finish this up. And it should move the carrier the rest of the way over and disengage. So there it goes. So now we're just turning free again. Like a like the typewriter's running in idle right now. Now we should be able to press tab and push this over, just like we did before. Push it while turning, turn and push, turn and push, and it made it all the way. We should be able to hit return, and it should bring it back. There'll be a little more resistance here on this knob, but it should bring it back. If you want to stop it anywhere here, you just push this as if it got to the edge here. Push this over to the left, and that's going to stop it. Let's bring it back that way. So once we get this in, that's what we want to see. We want to see the cables all tight around the pulleys over here, feeding through the back. And what we can do while we're talking about it is this cable under here. See, you can see the the tan cable right there. It's that pulley. That little round pulley goes on that shaft right there, and you need to put the cable through the top of that pulley. It's just an idler pulley. It just flops around in there. Same thing on the top here. Let's move this. So if everything's right, we should just be able to push this back. And there's also a pulley right here. Same thing. So here's that, there's that pulley. We should be able to push pull this on top of that. And that's just an, a little guide pulley. So everything is good. Let's tab this back over with a, power, with a hand crank and press tab button. Move it back over here. Now we're going to put the mainspring in, which can be a little tricky. Mainspring, it goes that way, but it's got these notches on this side, so it goes that way. We need to line that little curly cue up with this little cutout right here. And then we're going to wind this this way. And then about seven or eight turns, once we get this, this key lined up, we're going to push this in and get that key lined up. And then we're only going to stick it on here halfway. Let me see if I can get some light in here. When, when we're wound it enough, we're going to manipulate it in and, and make these little latches catch on the, the latches right here. There's three of them. One, two, three. This is a little tricky and it's a little dangerous because it gets under a lot of spring tension. So see, I got that little piece right through there. That little notch is there. We can leave it out a little bit because we're going to leave this little gap here and then we're going to turn it. You might put some gloves on for this because if this gets loose it's gonna it's gonna hurt so we gotta wind this tight so we gotta wind this up and we're gonna wind it about well let's let's see how far I want to go I'll, I'll count them off right here so we just put this in right there this is gonna be our starting point right there so this is one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. Six turns. Let's, let's do one more. Seven turns. Seven. And now you just need to manipulate it to where those brackets are in those slots and push it in a little further. So push it in. That little notch, maybe you can help it push it in a little with the 
something to make sure it gets in there flush and make sure this is latched in there pretty tight and if you need to tighten this up more it can always be done separately now we can just push the carrier back all the way back like that and now it's got spring tension we should be able to hit tab and just turn it with the hand crank and it should come on over by itself. So what's happening is the spring is pulling it over now. And once you get that done, she's ready to go. This machine is a little dirty, so it's sticking a little. It's still dirty, but the first job is to get the cables all in order. So it's all the way over. There we go. We should be able to turn the machine on and it should work. So here's the switch. Put this back into place. Like this. Go ahead and make, make sure the machine is off up here on the, the button. Make sure it's off. Plug it in. It's not off. I have this switching backwards. So. Let me switch this out real quick. The switch is supposed to go this way, kind of backwards. It should say on and off up here on the top. So I had it, I had it backwards. Let's stick this back in place. So now the machine should be off when it says off right here. And if everything is right, this should still hand crank by itself and do nothing. Turn it on, should do nothing. And now we should be able to hit return and it should return. Should be able to hit tab and have it tab. Now, like I said, this machine is a little sticky. We'll clean this up a little bit. See if I can get it to come over a little faster. And if everything is right. move back and forth just like that and it should tighten this machine is definitely sticky all right that's how we do a tab cord this is tab cord because it pulls it that way like a tab this is return cord because it returns and pulls it and that should do it this should be successful. Alright, Phoenix typewriter, good day.